Hello everyone, welcome to Paper Crafting Playdate. My name is Robin Armbrecht and this is really Robin Stamps. And you are joining me today, Friday, July 9th, if you're catching this live, or you might be watching on the replay later. But either way, I am thrilled that you are joining me today and that we are going to make some things with paper today. So if you love clean and simple cards, today is going to make you very, very happy. I have a very easy, simple um, template for you to try, and I think you're gonna like it. So let me get you to my stamping table. And we'll get you all ready to go. All right, take a look at these papers that I've got planned for today. And let me find you on Facebook. Let's see, here we are. Perfect, all right. Miss Lisa and Elaine are watching. Yay, welcome and happy Friday to you. Let's see. I'm gonna see if I can share this. Oh, I think I can, I think I can. All right, I think I'm putting it in the Facebook group. Robin's really super stampers as well. We'll see, we'll see. I'm new to all this. Okay, perfect. All right, so today I promised you a clean and simple card layout, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep it quick. We're gonna keep it simple. We're going to um, make beautiful things with paper because there is a paper sale going on right now. And so it's a great time to think about and get out all your beautiful designer series paper. So let me just um, show you this. I'm so sorry, this is not printed in color. Okay, now my camera is gonna give me problems again. Hold on, let me get that situated better, hopefully. I messed with the settings over the weekend and uh, we'll see. I'm gonna have to watch it, see if it's moving. Might be moving. Anyway, so t there's a, um, during the month of July until August 2nd, there is a paper sale and you get 15% off the packs of designer series paper um, that are generally $11.50, you get to have them for $9.78 now. And there's no like minimum purchase or anything like that. It's just however much you want in whatever quantity, they're all $9.78. So again, sorry, this isn't in um, color, but let me just show you in the catalog what I'm talking about. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Cindy. Hi, Mindy. All right, so these are the papers that I'm talking about. So we've got Beauty of the Earth, Hand Penned, Expressions in Ink, Bloom Where You're Planted, and then In Good Taste, In the Wild, Pansy Petals, Sweet Symmetry, and Tidings of Christmas. There's nine of them. They are all on sale, 15% off. So I thought it would be a good time to pull out paper and do a card template. And so I chose the Beauty of the Earth designer series paper today because I haven't played with that very um, much recently. And let me just show you my homework here. Here is kind of a, a quick sample of you of all of the designer series papers. Oh my goodness, this camera's gonna drive me crazy today. Hold, give me one more second, I am so sorry. Let me flip that up just a little bit. It's like it's uh, unbalanced or something, I don't know. How annoying, I'm sorry. Let's try that, see if that works. Okay, I don't know. We'll try. Anyway, <laughs> Beauty of the Earth, 
this is really pretty. It's very um, just full of trees. And I don't think we've had a designer series paper pack before that has just really been all about trees. So this is kind of cool. Hi, Pat. How are you? Nice to see you. So I actually did my homework twice. I made this and then I made this and I forgot that I made this. So um, I've got two different ways to kind of view all the different pieces in this pack of designer series paper. So there's lots of leaves, little trees, a little wooden background, and then here's the back side. I love all the blues in here with the greens. So we've got Old Olive and Mossy Meadow with Night of Navy, Misty Moonlight, and then we've got these beautiful browns in here, and a pop of red and a pop of yellow. So there's just really a lot you can do with with these um, colors and with these papers. So I found a new card template. So in case you haven't looked on my website or blog recently, um, I've been trying to create um, a free resource library where you can download all the PDFs of things that I um, make and use for your own um, for your own stamping to help you out. So I've come up with some just simple templates. So this was back in January, we had this card template number one. So you can find this PDF on the website under card templates. And then you can find this PDF where it has more um, more directions for how to exactly put the card together. This is basically just like the recipe with the picture and the pieces that you need. This is more like directions. So this is also under the um, resources, under the free resources. This was template number two. That was fun. I think we did this one in January or March. And then this was template number three that we did a few weeks ago. And so today's template number four, and I'm just numbering those templates because um, I think it'll be easier to remember, at least for me, to remember them that way than to try to come up with a name for each of them. <laughs> you guys, this camera's going to drive me nuts. I don't know how to fix it. I really don't. It just wants to, um, it just wants to do its own thing today. That'll teach me for messing with it. Okay, so template number four is super easy, um, and it, it has this pop of white on it. I'm calling it clean and simple. So you'll be able to find both of these on um, my website later on today. So let me show you how it goes together. You need a half a sheet of cardstock, and then you need um, a five inch by two and three fourths inch piece, and then you need a three inch square, and then you need a piece that is three and a fourth by one and a half. So I was just gonna show how to cut up this paper, because um, I do have a lot of new stampers um, as well as seasoned stampers. So you wanna pick two pieces or two designs that'll kind of coordinate together. One should be a little bit more busy than the other so that you've kind of got balance and they should definitely coordinate um, together. So, if you're thinking about ways to use up a lot of paper, this is a great pattern. So I'm going to use um, this piece and I'm going to cut an inch off first. And then I'm going to cut two inches off the bottom. And that's going to give me just the right size to create eight of these cards. All right, so now I've got a piece that's 10 inches by 11 inches, and so I'm going to cut this in half at five, like that. And then I'm gonna cut these at the same time at two and three-fourths inch. What is everybody up to today? Leave me a comment, tell me what you're doing, how you are. All right, so this um, will give you eight of those larger pieces from one sheet of 12 by 12, and then you'll just have a couple little strips left over here um, to stick back in your stash. And then with the other piece, I'm gonna cut three inch squares, 
And so I only need eight for what I'm making. So I'm gonna cut two three inch strips and then we'll cut these three inches this way and we'll get our squares. Lynn, you are working way too hard for a Friday if you're cleaning and you're hot and sweaty. Yeah, I hope that you're done and then your afternoon is going to be just delightful. Hi, Karen. Elaine's watching a baseball game. Great idea. Cindy's making cards and her granddaughter's coming over. That's awesome. Great. That's wonderful. All right, so we've got enough to make eight cards. All right, so let's just put some of these together. Now, this paper was designed to coordinate with um, a suite of products called the Beauty of Friendship. So let me just show you what that looks like. There's a stamp set called Beauty of Friendship and then there's dies called Beautiful Trees. So this kind of shows you them together. But I wasn't, I didn't really wanna put trees on these cards. Again, these I wanna keep these cards really simple. So I was thinking and looking at my um, stash and I found an old friend that I was like, oh my gosh, we have to play with this today. And I know a lot of you have this stamp set and you love it. It's called Forever Fern and it has all these beautiful leaves, but they're not necessarily fall leaves. They're just leaves, right? So that's kind of nice. So for me to use these again um, and not put them in these bright papers, because like remember uh, the paper we had last year had um, jade and the pretty peacock color, right? So we were using the stamp set kind of um, differently with different colors. Well, I kind of flipped it and I put them with different colors and I'm really excited about it. So get this stamp set back out if you haven't used it for a while, it's a really good one. And so I'm going to stamp just some of the pieces so that I can have accents for my card. So I'm gonna use Mary Merlot because that is the color of my card base. And we'll just stamp a few on here so that we can cut them all out. Mindy, UPS is out for delivery and you're waiting on your pre-order. That's exciting. I just heard the doorbell ring right before I started so I know mine is sitting on the front porch right now. So if I leave suddenly, I've given up and I'm going to go get my stuff. <laughs> I've given up with this camera for sure. I don't know what I did, but it definitely, I think it's in a, it's a place, but I, I don't know. It Hopefully you can see what I'm doing today. So isn't that pretty? This is a distinctive stamp set. Makes it so easy. You just stamp, ink it and stamp it and you get all that beautiful shading. I just love it. So let's cut out these. We'll use our little little cut boss guy. Merlot leaves look like eucalyptus. Oh, eucalyptus can be red too, isn't it? You're right. I was kind of thinking, well, this is weird to make all these red, but um that's a good I that's a good thought, Lynn. Lisa, when is the new mini catalog available? So, do you mean when will you get one? I ordered them and I just got mine in the mail yesterday. Let's see if I can cut all these out. I'm sorry, I have to talk slower as I'm putting these together. I'm actually gonna give you a sneak peek of it, Lisa, of the cover. All right, so let's cut these out. And then we'll have lots of embellishments. There 
we go. Okay, so we've got some pieces to use. So let me show you how this goes together. I think we're ready for that step. So what you're gonna do is layer these two pieces on the front, and this one's gonna line up with the right-hand side and just leave a little nice border. Isn't that pretty? I love that paper too. This one's, this one's hard to cover up. This one's very fall. This design right here, I think is really fall and I wasn't quite ready to go there. I liked that this one uh, wasn't quite screaming fall to me because I'm not ready for that. All right, so you just wanna make sure you've got an even kind of border around the edge of the card with your, um, with your piece of paper. And again, this is five inches by two and three fourths. So you're gonna have a quarter inch on each side, uh, top and bottom, so you wanna kinda of match that on the side. Then this three inch square, you're going to put, so if you think of the card kind of in thirds, you're gonna kinda of put this at the top third, and you're gonna keep it a quarter of an inch from this edge. It'll be about three-fourths of an inch from the top. Now this is just a suggestion. You can move this around any way you want. Okay, super easy. And then this piece of white, which is three and a fourth by one and a half, is going to bump up against the outside edge of the card, and it's gonna go right in the middle of this square. So what's nice about this size here, if you bring it, if I bring it down here and show you, this is two and three fourths, this is three and a fourth. So there's a quarter inch, um, it's a quarter inch bigger on each side, which is really nice. And that's why this layout's kind of really pleasing is because um, the way that you place it, this piece of white, which is the pop, is centered over this piece right here and then it's centered on this piece right here. So that's what kind of makes it look really pretty. So we're gonna pop this one up, so let's stamp our greeting. And I'm gonna use one of the greetings that comes with the Beauty of the Earth stamp set. We're gonna stamp it in Early Espresso. Friendships refresh the soul. And then let's pop that up. Lynn, I love this paper too. Do you have this one yet? Because now is a good time to get it. They're all nine, $9.78. <clears throat> I am going to stock up. The ones, I don't have the, um, the paper blooms. Let me see, where did I put that flyer? I don't have a couple of them yet, um, so I am going to order some myself and get stocked up. All right, so again, this um, butts up right against that and then centered on here. And then all you need is one embellishment. When you think about laying out your card, right, you can put an embellishment anywhere, but you know how sometimes you're, um, little focal point or your embellishment that you put on there or the accent just looks better than it does other times. And the reason that that happens is because sometimes it's just in a better like um, location. And so one of the ways that you can kind of just kind of when you're thinking about designing a card is think about those thirds, right? So we've kind of put this up in a third. If you look, think about this piece is like a third down. And then if you go a third over from that, where those kind of intersect, like right here or right here, that's gonna be a great place to put an embellishment. So let's go ahead and um, put a leaf like right there. Super easy. We'll just add a little adhesive there on the corner, put that right there. And 
anytime you're layering um, designer series paper like this, you want your paper to like, uh, I'm sorry, you want your accent to kind of go where all of those papers are intersecting so that you're, you're touching all of the paper. So if you kind of think down through the layers, it's touching the focal point, this and this all at the same, you know, at a place where they meet, if that makes sense. Let's keep this very, very simple and we're gonna just add some linen thread and make a little bow. Hello, Carol, good afternoon to you. What are you up to today, Carol? Some people are waiting for their pre-order to arrive. Some people are waiting for their catalogs to arrive. Some people are cleaning. Some people are watching TV, some baseball games. All right, so I'm just rolling a glue dot so that it goes right behind the knot. And I'm gonna stick that right there. And then I'll trim, trim that. And I don't like it when these are bent, so I'm just going to run the end of that through my fingernails and I'll just kind of straighten it out. Maybe fray it just a little bit. All right, so there is our very simple, clean and simple layout. Carol's making cards, good. You're doing, a, you're doing what we all wish we were doing all the time, I think. <laughs> all right, what do you guys think about that layout? Pretty easy, right? So I thought we could just talk about some of the ways that you can step up a layout because that's always nice. Um, I love making cards like this. And um, I just always then think, oh, I should add a little bit more or how could I just step this up a little bit? And so there's really, there's like three really good ways to step up a card. One is to um, add a background. Um, one is to add layers. And then the other is to add more um, embellishments, okay? So let's, um, let's make this card again and let's do some of those things and we'll play with it. And you can tell me which stepped up version you kind of think kind of speaks to you, right? Because we all like different things, right? Um, I can make this very simple card all day long and it would just, it would make me super happy. Um, so let's do some stamping. We'll make a background. That'll be one of our ways to step up. So I'm going to bring back the Mary Merlot. And I'm going to bring in um, this little smaller leaf image. And I'm going to just stamp a background using one image. Now, if you have a big background stamp, you could do that too. But if you don't, you can create your own background with just one image. So the key to making a, a great background image or a design we're using only one image is to turn your stamp a quarter turn every time you um, ink and stamp it so if you stamp it that way one time and then you turn it and you stamp it that way the next time and then you turn it again and you stamp it that way that way none of the leaves are going in the same direction I'm leaving the middle of that um, card front without stamping because it's going to be covered up anyway. So let's just take a peek at this, how it will look. Let me bring in I'll bring in another greeting here and another leaf. maybe okay I can't find it <laughs> uh, we'll bring in this little one here all right, so just to compare, just a quick comparison, um, just putting the, st uh, the um, background stamping on there, that does a little bit to make it like stepped up just a little bit, okay? But let's take it a little bit farther. Let's go ahead and add some layers. 
So one thing that you could do is to just layer the focal point and give it another little extra pop of color like that. And then you can keep your little leaves on there, add an extra one. All right, so you can add that, but you could also layer or mat all of these pieces. So let's bring in some other colors and let's bring in some early espresso. And we'll layer that piece. And then we'll layer this square piece with some old olive. Now I'm not putting these all down yet because we're gonna kind of figure out which one we like the best, right? And then we'll layer this piece. Like that. Let's put another one in here. I like this one a little bit better. We're doing that. All right, so we don't need this anymore. So kind of compare um, and contrast those two. And which one, which one do you like better? Do you like when you add the more layers? Do you like kind of the clean and simple look? Do you like both? Um, you probably like both, right? Um, this one gives it just a little bit more, there's a little more to it, right? And you can add some, um, add some additional little embellishments. So one thing you can do to step up was stamping a background. Another thing is to add the layers. So we're adding the layers here. So another thing that you can do, the third thing is to just really kind of like make your, um, your focal point or where your sentiment is, make that a little bit more layered and rich. So let's take, uh, let's try this. So this little piece could make a really cute tag. So let's turn this into a tag. So if you don't have any tag punches, a very easy way to make a tag is to just cut off one corner of that piece. Then you take that same piece and you flip it upside down and you put it on the other corner. And then you'll have a perfectly matching corner. So now I'm just going to use that. All right, so now you've got this cute little tag. I think that looks really cute right there. And then you can put your um, ribbon or your linen thread. So let's just make a little, another little bow. Pat likes both, Lynn likes both. Do you guys agree that sometimes making a simple card like that is a little bit more difficult or is that kind of like your wheelhouse to make that? Because I feel like a lot of times I can over make a card by putting too many layers on there. And then when I get something like this, you know, I think, oh, that looks great. But then I'm always like, oh, I got to put one more thing on there. All right. So anyway, here's so you can make this into a little tag. And that'll step up um, that card. You could also use one of the um, new tag dies. Let's put this back together here. So there's one of the um, tailored tag dies. So I added a little bit of the early espresso ribbon. That would step it up, right? And then there's all kinds of fun little, um, you know, little die cuts that you could use instead or in addition to, to make that look really cute. Something like that, something like this. So that little bit of stitched and the little shape is going to kind of step up the card. So you could even put that over here just to make one little simple change. 
All right, but let's let's just layer. Let's just layer this. So one of the pieces that you can cut out from the the fern dies has this little piece. So let's do that. And then we'll add we'll add some green. And then we'll add a little pop of red so we've got all the colors in there. And then instead of, you know, adding the twine, you could add um, bundle the twine and put that underneath. I should have done that before I laid it all out. But you can just kind of bunch up that twine. Let's just, I'm not gluing anything down because we're just, I just want to play with different things. We're just trying some stuff out, right? So you can put a little more texture back there by adding the little bit of um, twine, all right? So again, any little thing that you add um, to the focal point just kind of pulls, um, pulls the eye right to that area. So adding the linen thread, you know, adding different kinds of die cuts, those are all going to add texture, but you could also um, texturize by using an embossing folder one of one or more of the pieces of the designer series paper. And so I used the Bark 3D folder on this square. And so that's adding some texture. So let's just go ahead and nail this down. Elaine likes both. Great. Let's go ahead and just put this one all the way together. So we'll have our stepped up version and our regular version. So what do you guys like to do when you are stepping up a card? What is usually your go-to thing when you think, I'm just gonna add a little something more? Is it usually a paper layer? Is it usually um, an embellishment of some kind? Is it more, more ribbon? I'm gonna give this just a little trim here. I think I want that early espresso piece to be just a little smaller. There we go. Okay, so we'll add this piece here. I know you guys are gonna find this hard to believe, but I literally made I made six more of these cards with every single piece of paper in this in this um, set. So um, hold on, because I've got a ton of samples to show you. All right, so we'll layer this one on. Remember, this is going to be spaced the same as on the other side. So you've got the same kind of border. And put this about three-fourths of an inch from the top. All right, so we're going to use our little tag here, and then we're going to put this little beautiful little cluster of leaves behind. Elaine, layer ribbon and enamel dots. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we'll do that one. And let's pop this up. This is gonna go halfway in between this and right up to the edge, like that. I think I'm gonna tuck that one underneath. Oops, I forgot my Okay, you're gonna have to stay under there. There we go. I think I need one more glue dot over here. Right there. 
All right, and then we've got our last little piece here. Maybe. Okay, there we go. So there is our stepped up version and why we why we're making it um, stepped up we'll go ahead and we'll just put some of these um, new little silver and clear epoxy so this is these are all clear and there's like little um, teardrops and diamonds and circles so we'll just add a couple of these little circles in here mm, yeah actually let's do a little bit of the look like water droplets like that so we've got one two three four five we've got an odd number of um, little pieces there so that that will be good all right so there's our stepped up version what do you guys think you'll have to let me know in the comments what your favorite version is if you like them both you don't have to pick just one you can like them both that's fine it's just nice to know you have options when you want something quick and easy or if you want to spend a little bit more time you can use the same template and you can add a little bit more to it and step it up by either stamping in the background adding layers or adding texture or just really um, adding more embellishment to your focal point okay so i promised you some samples here let's set these over here so i took all the rest of the papers from this beauty of the earth and I made one of each and this was just so much fun I had a blast getting out the stamp set the forever fern and just using those leaves um, with this paper I think it's a really good option so if you've got this stamp set you might want to think about getting that paper um, and just you know using these in a different way than maybe what you're used to using them. So these are all the very simple version. Okay, so then let me show you Keep these over here. I also got out the Sweet Symmetry paper and my Small Daisy Punch and the Biggest Wish um, stamp set and I created these very simple um, cards but I love them I just love them so you can see the focal point right here where it's right in that great spot a third and a third right there so it's pleasing to the eye um, the way that layout is I did a couple with the expressions in ink because that paper is so pretty too. I decided to go with these stitched tags just to step it up a little bit because this paper is specialty paper, um, so it's very pretty. This one is not one of the ones on sale because it's, it's a specialty paper. It's just the regular ones that are on sale, but I think that's pretty. Okay, um, let's see, I did one with this paper. This is that big pack of paper that's on sale, just to kind of do a really muted kind of um, textured card. I stamped on this piece a little bit here. So there's all kinds of things you can do. And here is one with my favorite paper, the hand penned. Just made a little homemade tag on this. You can see how that just, it's just such a nice um, greeting spot, the size right here. But again, you can take some of the, look into your dies, see what dies you have. You can use a die as well. If you wanted to get a little bit fancier, you could pull out your dies, right? And this one has some little embellishments on there as well. And then we've got 
our pansy petals designer series paper and I used the tags again on that so this one I just flipped it instead of putting it up against this side like every other sample here I just moved it over to the side of course it's completely flexible that way you uh, put it however you want it on your cards what do you think that's so much <laughs> This is a fun template. It's super easy. You can make lots and lots of cards really quickly. All right, so before I forget, um, I talked about the paper um, the paper sale. My hostess code this month is um, this, and my special for um, online orders using the hostess code, if you spend $60 on your online order, you can choose either the Soft Pastels assortment, or you can choose a set of the Stampin' Blends alcohol markers. So you can just pick one of the colors. These are both valued at $9. So that is my special for the month of July. All right, here's your sneak peek. Miss Lisa, if you're still watching, here's the catalogs. Woo this is what they're going to look like. So I've already selected, if you're one of my customers, I've already selected you to grab these or to get these in the mail and um, they should be coming sometime this month. They don't always tell us when they ship them, so I, I can't really give you an exact, um, but I just got mine today, um, and so, or yesterday. Anyway, I can't show the inside, but I love, I love the little um, minty green here. It's probably actually succulent, right? It's probably the soft succulent color. Um, lots of good stuff in here, and if you hadn't heard, Celebration is coming in August and September. We're gonna have two more months of Celebration this year. Um, that's Stampin' Up's biggest, best sale of the year, and now we get it a second time around. So for every $50, there are choices in here. You can get something for free for every $50 you order. There are also two selections. If you um, spend $100, you can get one of the larger items. And for that so when I get my pre-order out off of the porch <laughs> um, I will look through it and I'll probably have an unboxing video so you can see that stuff as well but this is super exciting so anyway thank you so much for watching thank you so much for helping me um, step this card up and tell me how you like to step your cards up um, again, all of these pictures and the PDF for the template will be on my website, Really Robin Stamps, later on today. Thank you so much for watching and suffering through that camera malfunction. Now it seems to be fine, of course. Um, love you guys so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.